Southampton nil, Newcastle United nil with Owen who just lives down the road if you say down the road in Bournemouth disappointing result or is it just a point on the road that we, we needed uh, disappointing result disappointing season so far disappointing result what are we now 11 games in 10 games in 10 games in yeah. and uh, we've got we've got 3 points wow 3 points bottom of the table still up as far as I know I haven't checked <laughs> possibly couldn't, couldn't be bothered to check either because it's, there's going to be no improvement whatever it is we're still in the relegation zone and but the looks of it doesn't look like we're getting out anytime soon what do you think we need to do differently because you look at today's game it took us to the 53rd minute to get a, a decent shot on goal um, you've got to look at the options that we have Rondon and Atu Rondon's only just come back fit have we got to give this a bit more time or are we running out of time well I think I think Rondon still needs needs time like the fans uh, the group that I was sat in Everyone gets behind him, but you can't you can't expect him to score or just pick up his form straight away. The start of the season, he came in, he wasn't fully fit as we were told. Uh, then he scored against Forest, didn't he? And I thought that maybe he can pick, get a get a run of games here. Then he got injured in the Palace game, and he just hasn't been able to find form. He hasn't been able to find a rhythm this season, and that just, it's just led to him not scoring goals and not starting games. And um, Muto, I think he's I think he's been brilliant as well. Really, he got that one goal against Manchester United, but. What we need is we can't play Perez and Muto. They're too small together. Too similar, I think, as yeah, well. Wait, well, Perez, I just don't think behind the striker is where he needs to play. I don't think striker is either. If you look at his goals last season, they're scored by one touch. So he's that type of player that you need to bring on at the end of at the end of sort of a game just to liven it up a little bit. Uh, I think Rondon and Muto should be played together up top because then yeah, I can have that partnership where Rondon can knock down the balls from Muto, Muto can set Rondon up and I just think that system would work a lot better for us. I know we tried two up top before but why not try it again? Have we got to go two up front against Watford next week? They've just come off another good result. They look very, very good. Um, we've got Bournemouth as well. Two home games before the next international break. I'll be honest with you, I think we need at least seven points from four games. We've got the first point on the board today. We need two more wins. Can we get two wins against Watford and Bournemouth? So, next to a Watford and Bournemouth, no. Uh, I, like I just said... <laughs> Not blunt. Uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> two at the max, but I'd say they're both going to be losses because Bournemouth are playing sensational football. Yeah, they've had a few odd results on the way. Uh, being beat 4-0 by Burnley and drawing 0-0 to Southampton last week. Um, but they're, they're playing brilliant football, Eddie Howe's got them playing very well um, and Watford they're pushing for a top half finish as well if you ask me so I don't think we really stand a chance two points at the max but. one of those days one of those days um, Rafa Benitez there's a lot of um, talk about should he stay should he go there's been a lot with the boycotts I don't know if you've seen it the Magpie group have just announced to boycott the Wolves yeah, game yeah. obviously it's a bit difficult because I know you live down south on the south coast but if you were a Newcastle fan living in Newcastle would you boycott the Wolves game no why not? And uh, as far like obviously, I try to go to as many games as possible. It's a bit yeah. difficult living down here. Yeah, it's, it's more by uh, <coughs> more by thought. Like, yeah. just yeah, it's not by choice. But <laughs> if I was if I was going to games a lot more regularly, then I wouldn't boycott. Why? Why? Like, we're trying to make a change. But I genuinely think Ashley might spend some spend some money in January. Why do you think that? Because if you look at the last two, three transfer windows, it's been loan signings. It's been it's been. Bar bargain basement. Why do you think this time will be different? Where, 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 where has he been for those past three transfer windows? He's finally started coming to games. He's talking to Rafa after the games. I genuinely think he, he's not going to spend fifty million. He's not going to spend anywhere above that. He probably won't even spend thirty million. But he's going to spend money. And if it, whether it's bringing a player in like Townsend or another player of that sort, that sort that can not, not impact our season, but just improve in places that we need improving. For it's just Richie. He's got that right. <laughs> right wing spot like like just taped down he needs competition and like he's not he, we've got one type play he likes cutting onto that left foot he doesn't really have a lot of I don't know he just doesn't competition really have, yeah does he, does he, no, he just doesn't have a lot to his game either like no. you need someone who's like the opposite of him kind of that like you can switch around and I just think we just need yeah I just think that but I definitely think that Ashley will spend money in January and I don't agree with boycotting games either. we need to get behind the team We've only got three points. How on earth are we going to pick up more points when the fans aren't even turning up to games? I think Owen's message is behind the team, support the uh, behind the team, don't support the regime, I should say. Uh, thanks very much for your time, Owen.